All right, so when I'm in half guard and I'm, in, I'm, I'm here and it feels like I made some progress, I got past their open guard, but then they managed to put me in the lockdown down position here and my leg starts getting extended, it can be very difficult to pull your leg back up because she, both of her legs are working together to extend my leg out in that direction. And if I try and put shoulder pressure here like this and try and bring my weight to this side, she can kind of just torque my knee by just extending my leg away and then I'm off balance and it forces you to have to kind of base your hands like this. And it's, it's not the most dangerous thing in the world, like she's not really gonna threaten me with really serious sweeps. It's just annoying because I wanna try and pass her guard and I keep trying to pass her guard and she's extending the leg away and then I have to like do, like try and deal with this and clear my foot over and over again and she just gets it back. So we're gonna deal with this in a, a just a really smart counter here that will deter anyone from doing lockdown on you anymore. So when she locks me down here like this, it's, it's, you can get your foot out, you can. But because I don't really have control of the situation after that, they're always gonna get their foot back in and get this locked down again. And this is really a desperation move by them, especially in the gi. In no gi, maybe you could do some of the lockdown attacks from here. But in the gi, it's really just someone trying to hold on to you. They're not really gonna be able to threaten you with serious sweeps. It, it, it's unlikely at least. So when this happens, you have to accept that they're kind of just trying to stalemate you for a minute because they're just trying to regain some control of the match and hold on. So that's fine. We're gonna counter this with a really simple counter here. All I have to do is do what she was trying to make me do anyways, which is to, she extends me away and I have to kind of plant my hands to relieve some pressure off my leg here. So it kind of disassembles my ability to put pressure because it torques my knee and extends it out, but that's okay, I'm just gonna go with it. So I plant my hands, I'm gonna start walking them back here. And now, at this point, I hook her foot and I don't wanna let her foot go away now, but the key here is to try and bring my foot closer to her butt while maintaining the hook here. So I stand up and slide it close here. And you can see now, let's turn this way. I'm kind of creating a situation where I lock her legs in the position. Cause as the more I lean back, the more the position locks in cause her leg is locked here and then her leg is locked under my foot. And the more I stand up and move away, if I straighten this leg, it really locks the position in. How's that feel? Uncomfortable? Yeah. Not too bad? So at, the more I move away and the more I push her knees down, the more pressure it puts on her to eventually create, the, it, it's a submission. Yeah, it, is it is hurts, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so the thing about it that's kind of cool is you, once they lock you in, you lock them in. And then we slowly move to a position where their legs get tighter and tighter and tighter. And it's like I just put my, I put my leg through here so it just locks their legs here. And then the more I stand up, the more it drives this foot back further. It's kind of like a calf slice, an ankle lock, hip lock. It's just very uncomfortable. And it's not meant to like tap the person out. It's just meant to deter them from ever doing lockdown to you again. That's really the only purpose. Hey guys, Andres Panaskis here. I am very excited to announce my fourth instructional series on Jiu Jitsu X. This one is called Lapelapalooza, and it's gonna consist of over 60 lapel techniques. So make sure to get it at Jiu Jitsu. Oh man. So make sure to get it at jujitsux.com. So if someone puts you in lockdown, this is a cheesy way to get out of it or potentially submit them. Usually what will happen is you'll try and do this kind of quickly and pop up to your toes and get your knees in there and their foot will just slide out before this happens, which is totally common. And that's fine because at least I'm out of the lockdown and I could re-enter the guard with some sort of knee cut position. But for right now, take it very slow with your partner and just feel how this will lock your opponent in with you. So I turn my toes and I need to get my knee out from near her butt to through to this side. And the only way to do that is just to back up with your hands and then lift your hips in the air and slide your toes forward here. And once I manage to get into this position, you can remove your foot just so you don't get tapped. I just back out slowly and that'll create the lock, all right? So when you do this, do it very slow. Communicate with your partner, the person on bottom, just be like, okay, tap, that hurts. And then they can just go back into position. Because if you, if you let it continue all the way to the end, I'll show you, I'm pretty flexible, so I, can, I might be able to handle it, we'll see. Yeah, so I'm here like this. I have my lockdown position. Paige starts to bring her knee up and through and point her toes. And right here is where I start to feel like, okay, this is not a good position for me. But I also can't escape. I can't pull my leg out at this point because they're stuck. 
So if she stands up straight and just leans away, yeah, the more you lean, the more painful it is for me. I feel a lot of pressure in my knee, in my ankle, on this calf. <laughs> tap, tap, tap. It's very uncomfortable. So you're just, your opponent put you there, so you might as well make them pay for it because it's very difficult to get out. And it's just one of the best counters you can do for a lockdown half guard scenario, okay? Any questions? What's up? Yeah, there's, there's like all of the 10th planet moves, like the electric chair. What are, what are some of the other ones, Sunshine? Do you know the moves? They have all sorts of weird moves. What, what's, what's one page? Do you know any of the lockdown attacks? Just the electric chair. That's where you underhook the leg and grab? Yeah, so, so the banana split. Yeah, I'll show you what the electric chair is just so you, you're, you can see. So when you get the lockdown here, the power of it is that even if they're putting a lot of normal pressure on you here, my right hand can still underhook her leg and start to pull it up. And as I torque the knee, it removes a lot of the pressure and I could lock here around her head. And I think you actually want to get under the arm and lock the position something like this. Mm -hmm. And you can potentially sweep with it and just like keep a ton of pressure. Watch, watch Eddie Bravo versus Hoyler at Metamorris. He had him in it for like 40 minutes. He couldn't submit him. The position's not very good for submissions, but you can kind of lock someone in there and just like roll around a little. <laughs> That's basically what it is. <laughs> but it's surprisingly common. A lot of people use that position. And I'll use that position too, just in half guard when someone's trying to pass my guard or putting pressure. Sometimes it's good to use it to extend their leg out and away and keep them from knee cutting on you. But I won't, I won't usually stay there very long. But some people just like to stay there because it kind of is a cheesy stalling position where you can kind of lock someone in place. That's why it's called the lockdown. So this is a good counter to have because it's one of the only ways to just really stop it right there and make sure that they, they don't do it again. Okay? Any other questions? All right, let's do it. One, two. To their guard once they tap. You can't just stand up and walk away. It's going to hurt them. The more you lean away and straighten that leg, the more you straighten it, the tighter it gets. Don't try and eat the pain. It's too much for any man or woman. Push their knees down, and that'll create the pressure to get the tap. Yeah. As the person on bottom, you can try and see if you have any way out, but most of the time you're not going to be able to get your foot out without it being very uncomfortable. So you're asking for this move if you play lockdown. It's a double submission. <laughs> Both people get submitted. Yeah, the more you straighten that leg and lean back and then you go like this, you push on his knees. Right, Sunshine? It's like this, yeah.